going to battle this thing. Let's go. You know, and at least we're going to go down. We're going to go swinging. Faced with a devastating diagnosis, this West Virginia man left his entire life behind and moved to Boston for a last chance at life. Mass General is one of just seven hospitals in the nation that treats his extremely rare heart disease. New Center 5's Emily Reamer shows us that treatment is giving patients hope. One step at a time, Lacey Neff fights for his life. So let's start at 1.8. It may not sound like much, but for a man who's recovering from a heart transplant, every step matters. These steps are just much slower than he'd like. Lacey Neff and the Afternoon Radio Show. Lacey is West Virginia radio royalty. Loved by listeners, he's been on the air 25 years, and then last year, life got harder. A whole different show all of a sudden. I knew there was something wrong. When I'd have to take three steps and then stop, and I'd have to catch my breath. He saw doctor after doctor, and he kept getting worse. After his fifth hospital trip, they said, Your heart looks like shattered glass. It looks like there's been like little spears that's been going through it. Lacey had light chain amyloidosis, a rare disease in which abnormal proteins build up in organs, in Lacey's case, his heart. It affects just 10,000 Americans, and if untreated, it can be deadly. He also had multiple myeloma, a cancer of the plasma cells often associated with amyloidosis. We had one shot. And it was Mass General Hospital. Dr. Mark Semigrin was Lacey's one shot. He leads the team at MGH that treats amyloidosis. He showed us this image of Lacey's original heart pumping far too slowly. That white arrow points out the protein buildup on the right side. The body's reaction to this is to retain more fluid to try to help the heart pump more blood. But eventually it gets to the point where the fluid backs up into the lungs. This is Lacey's new heart squeezing normally, no protein deposits. Lacey still needs a stem cell transplant to treat the cancer, but his prognosis is good. His attitude, I think, you know, has a lot to do with why he's doing so well. Lacey refuses to let his diagnosis beat him and faces his upcoming stem cell transplant with optimism. You got to stand up, you got to go straight forward, it, you got you to run at it. Lacey is expected to receive that stem cell transplant next month and says he's actually looking forward to it. He feels like it's the last step towards getting this all behind him and moving on with his life. I'm Emily Reamer, WCBB News Center 5.